let's start from scratch. Um, talking about art again. Now you already know that I am an artist, <laughs> but it still seemed to be funny to me because my art history wasn't that good. I used to get really bad marks at school. And there is no wonder because I couldn't draw real things that my professor would ask me to draw. Um, it was so difficult for me, but I still loved drawing, and I filled every single book uh, back at college with uh, different drawings, sketches during boring lectures sometimes, I'm sorry to say that. Um, but I had to do something about it. I f if you feel like you want to do something, you have to work a little bit hard, okay? So I tried for a while uh, to come up with something on my own, and now I created this. So uh, that's when things changed for me. Uh, back in 2011, when I created this art, it was a little bit uh, concerning to me because I wasn't sure of people's reaction to what I'm drawing. I, did, I wasn't sure that they will understand um, what I was doing. So I kept it to myself for a while. Um, but when I had the first opportunity to share it with public, um, thanks to my mom, she's actually the one who kept asking me to do it. Um, the result was so unexpected for me. Uh, people did not just look at my art, they did not just admire it, they connected with my art in a spiritual and emotional level. They made each drawing of mine a story of their own. I'm not talking about people that I know in my family and friends, I'm actually talking about people I've never seen or met before in my life. I'll always remember uh, an American soldier in one uh, of the exhibitions I participated in. Uh, he picked up one of my drawings and he said with tears from his eyes, this is me. This is exactly my life. So that, that was so touching for me. It's so far the most priceless comment I've ever had on my drawings. So I started to think serious about it. What is it exactly that people see in my art that make them relate? with emotions. What is it exactly that I draw? So I went all the way back to the beginning of this whole thing. I do not draw people, buildings, animals, nature. I draw feelings. Um, some of you might think that I'm talking about love feelings. Well, not that only. We have other feelings that people don't pay attention to. We have hatred, we have guilt, we have mercy, we have amazement, we have excitement, we have uh, loss, we have loneliness, all these feelings. And guess what? I'm not the only artist who's doing it. All artists in the world are actually doing it through their art. And um, in this um, slide that I'm gonna show right now is a group of some uh, artwork for famous people from around the world. They try to pass some feelings and experiences through their artwork. So I'd love you to take a second to uh, sense what they've been trying to uh, send to us through their work. So, these people have the capability to create something, a connection between us and another dimension. I'd call it another world where all people with no exception are linked and bond to each other. A, uh, a world where the deepest secrets hide and lie in. I like to call it the world of feelings. Well, you might think I'm crazy, right? There is no such thing. But let me ask you this question here. Why do we sometimes cry when we listen to a piece of music? or feel so happy and excited when we look at a certain drawing? Well, simply the answer is that musician who composed that piece of music and that artist who draw uh, that picture for us, they actually uh, made and created a path between us and this world. Uh, I want to pass a concept for you, uh, but I'm gonna start it with an example before I take you to the result. Imagine that we have two people living in different sides of the planet. Each one of them have a passion for the same thing. 
a movie called Pirates of the Caribbean. So, they don't exactly love the same thing, each of them. Each one of them has his own interest in this movie based on the thing or the art he loves the most. So, one of them actually loves the music that was composed for the movie, and the other one is actually interested in the great act of the actor here. So, sharing the same passion for the same thing, but with different visions. So imagine that these guys someday met, and they started to have a conversation about this movie. They're gonna feel like they are connected somehow, just because they share a passion for a movie. Well, the thing is that this masterpiece called Pirates of the Caribbean, or a movie in general, uh, provides more than an art for people, and each one of us will observe the art that we love the most. And this takes me to the concept that I'd love to um, share it with you. Now, each one of us has a special code uh, through which we actually receive a special kind of art. So someone would be interested in music, so this is the thing that you're going to be, you know, focusing on. And another person is interested in, for example, side designing. Another one is interested in dancing. So each one of us has a special code that we can actually receive art from, and this is what makes us different. So, those uh, who are listening to me right now, here or outside, we think, if I am not an artist, does it mean that I don't have feelings? Nope, that's not my idea. The idea is, or before I start with the idea, I believe that each one of us uh, was given the same amount of feelings. Different experience, different circumstances, but it's always the same, and we express it in our own ways. But what makes artists different, let's give them some credit, because they never do. Um, I think that artists have the ability to put art for us in a physical form. So, sometimes it's a moment of happiness captured in a photography by a photographer, or it's a melody of sadness played by a musician. Sometimes it's deep hatred held and written in a poem, and sometimes it's just a love story performed on a stage. So, all these people together, all these artists together, they, um, they make their own art on their own way, they make their own, each one of them make, uh, makes his own physical form, but at the end of the day, they all represent one thing. They all represent feelings. <clears throat> so, uh, from this point, I'd love to um, give you the picture in the simplest way. Um, Feelings live in one world, um, according to my own experience and theory. And if we all feel, then we are all connected. <clears throat> so, um, I think that artists here have actually a message more than entertaining us. They actually give us a chance, a way to connect with each other, to connect with people on the other side of the planet, people we don't know, we've never seen before, but through art, we actually make bonds with them. And once we see them, we feel like we've known this person for so long. It's just because we share one passion, which is actually art. So, if you think it's a little bit too complicated to connect with others through art, I'd always recommend Facebook and WhatsApp if you have connection and power, which is really cool sometimes. Um, but what I mean here is, um, we do have technology to connect, we don't need art, but art has something different. Art has infinity that lives inside of it. Infinity that every time you look at that piece of art, you feel like it's the first time for you. You always get touched, you always cry, you always feel happy, just as the same uh, as the first time you did. Um, I uh, was working on a concept uh, of a short movie uh, based on what I just said and I wanted to share this concept for the first time 
um, here with you. It's really simple, it's really modest, but I thought that th there is no better place than starting it here. So um, I'll just play it and try to use your imagination to understand what's going on. too short but um, I was trying to deliver an idea of how feelings actually matter and sometimes people ignore feelings that they don't know someday these feelings will actually get you and get all people around you just because you decided they're not that important to deal with and what I want to say in last that feelings live through us they start as a spark flamed by imagination to live as an infinite fire that might lighten your path or burn your soul. Thank you very much.